Still think AI can't take over the world? Watch till the end and let me know what you think. So the synth has bones and muscles that are roughly analogous to the human body, but not quite as complex. These hands are 3D printed as an uh, entire piece on our printers. We can actually print in carbon fiber and Kevlar, and we can create robot bones that are stronger than aluminum machined parts with these beautiful organic biological shapes. So I'm adding in a finger sensor. This uh, current generation has a single sensor on the fingertip. We build a machine that perceives like a human by trying to copy the human sensorium very accurately. The most complicated part of the perception system is actually the sense of touch. Are you monitoring the touch? Yes. Touch received. We've actually embedded capacitive touch sensors in the synth's hand, essentially pressure sensors, allowing it to feel uh, its environment and interact and manipulate objects. Let's just test the pressure. OK. This should max it out. Yep, yep, maxed out. Just stretch out her hand. OK, go. The reason the hand and the arm is able to move so fluidly is because of pneumatic actuators. They work. Like and subscribe to stay ahead.